Hey everybody, uh, a whole lot of spare time and a whole lot of trial and error, but I have figured out uh, with pretty consistent results how to have OnSong control the Helix presets via MIDI. So I'm gonna walk you through what I do right now. Um, there might be other ways to do it, but this is what's working for me. So I'm gonna show you in case uh, you're having some troubles and, and you need a tutorial. So anyway, a couple caveats. Um, I've been using OnSong forever and I have tweaked so many uh, settings and menu items that I finally just had to revert back to factory presets. I've tweaked a little bit since then. Obviously I've tweaked the display options. You can set it up however you want to. So hopefully your menu options and settings are in the same ballpark as mine. Otherwise you might, I don't know, run into some difficulty, who knows. I'm connected um, MIDI via USB. This is a camera connection adapter that goes into the iPad. USB cord comes out and into, can't see it, into the back of the Helix. So it's MIDI over USB. So let's get started. I have made a test book of four songs. Uh, I've named the book Testing. I have also over here just made four presets, T1, T2, T3, and T4, that we're gonna program for those songs. There's nothing in there, it, it doesn't matter, I'm just making names. So there's T1, there's T2, there's T3. I purposefully did not put them all right in order because I didn't want you think the heel I didn't want you thinking the helix was just stepping down chronologically. It's actually going to jump around to pick the right preset. And just to prove that point, I made T4 in a different folder, which is right there. So let's go back up to T1 and we'll start there. T1. So in order to where the, where the hell are we? Um, okay, T1. In order to have the on song call up the correct preset, we need to add MIDI, MIDI information into our songs. And this is the MIDI information right here. It's in the middle of the, um, uh, I don't know, preset menu screen. CC32, that is actually the bank or the folder. The PC, is the song number and the cc69 at the bottom is for snapshots which i'll get into in a later video but cc32 um, refers to the folder or the bank so we're on cc32005 but you can see we're actually on the sixth folder and the reason for that is because MIDI starts at zero, doesn't start at one, starts at zero. So folder one in MIDI is actually, um, it's actually, I guess I gotta select it. It's actually CC32 zero. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So even though it's the sixth folder, it's CC32 number five, and that's gonna come into play later on as well. Okay, so there we go. So there's our information. Um, it's the sixth folder, and it is the 56th song down the list. It's actually the 57th song for the same reason. Uh, MIDI starts at zero, but obviously uh, uh, the Helix doesn't have song zero. It starts at song one, so we have to add one to the PC. All right, let's get started. I'm calling up the first song. And we're there. I'm getting rid of the main menu or the top menu. So how I enter the MIDI information, and I guess there's other ways to do it, but this has worked out for me. I long hold or long press the title and I get the MIDI events menu. So I hit the plus sign because I'm gonna add something. So the first thing I need is the CC32. And CC stands for control change. And by default, uh, we are already on the type, which is control. All channels, because I only have 
these two things talking to each other, I don't care about channels. I'm just putting it over all channels. And the control number is 32, CC32. So control, and then we scroll down to 32. And then we plug in the number down here on this value slider, and the number is 05. So that's a shortcut. The slider is just too sensitive for me, so I just enter the number directly. All right, so control 32 is gonna call up bank five. The song I want is a program change. PC 56 will bring us to T1. So I add, hit the plus sign again. We change the control type. PC is program change. So I'm going to change that to program, all channels again. And it was PC 56, I have to add one, 57. If you don't add one, you'll figure it out really quickly because the Onsong will call up the preset right before the one you want. And then you'll realize, oh yeah, I need to add one to that program change. So there you go. Um, I'm going to go to the next song here. I'm going to call up a different preset for the heck of it. So if I go back to the last song, it should call up T1 as the uh, preset. And it did, sweet, all right, it's working. Let's do the other songs. So the next song in the list, I'm just going to uh, go forward for the next song. And I'm going to put that on T2. So there's the information. CC32.5 stays the same, but the PC has moved up to, to 58, which we will enter as 59. So CC32.005. Again, I will long hold the title, hit the plus. Control is already there. So CC32. And the number we want is still 5 done and then the next one is going to be the pc 58 we'll enter it as 59 so change control to program because it's a pc and the number is oops and the number is 59 there it is done okay Let's go to the next one. Let's just do them all and then we can check them all at once. Um, the third song, I want T3 as my pretend patch. CC32 remains at five. The PC has jumped up a couple numbers again. 60, we'll enter it as 61. Let's do it again. Do, do. Uh, hit the plus button. Control change is already there. CC32 and the number is Five. I don't know what I just pressed back. I don't want it latching. I don't know what that means. CC 32.5. And then we'll add the PC, which again, such bad memory. We need to enter it as 61. PC um, 61. And done. The last song, we need to switch banks, remember? So I'm going to get out of that folder or bank, whatever you want to call it. Scroll down to T4. All right, so CC32 has jumped up to six because we went down to the next folder, PC36. So let's go over here, long press, hit the plus button, CC. 32, you guys are probably getting used to this by now. CC32, and we've changed the bank to six, done. And program change 36, we need to make it 37, plus program change 37, done. So if I go back, all of our stuff is programmed. If I go back to the first song in the list, the preset, let me do this so we can see what we're on. The preset should jump to T1. Uh, let's try it again. And it's there. If I go to the next song on the list, it should jump to T2. It's there. Next song, T3. Next song, T4. 
If I go backwards, it's the same thing, T3, T2. And you don't have to go in order, you can jump around. So if we're on the second song right now, if I wanna to jump to the fourth song, it'll jump to the fourth preset. All right, everything's working. That is the basics. We'll do some more next time, but at least you know how to uh, have the on song um, tell the Helix what preset to call up. Okay, thanks, bye.